Right. Uh, example 9.1. A photon of a green light has a wavelength of lambda 740 nanometer. You need to calculate the photon frequency. You need to find F. So, uh, regarding to the frequency of photon, which is given by C equal to lambda F, so uh, you have the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the power of uh, 8, which is equal to 740 times 10 to the power of negative 9 times frequency. So you will get F 4.05 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz. Okay, and the next question is the photon energy in joule and electrovolt. So you have to answer in two units. First in joule and the second is in electrovolt or EV. So what you have to do is for question B, okay, regarding to the Planck's quantum theory, which is, which is E equal to HF. Right, so E is E is equal to six point six three okay times ten to the power of negative thirty four. This is your Planck's constant times four point zero five times ten to the power of fourteen. So you will get the E equal to 2.69 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule, right? So uh, the next is the energy in electrovolt. So what you have to do is uh, change. You need to divide, okay? This is joule. You just need to uh, divide it by 1.60 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So you will get the answer in electrovolt. Okay. Example 9.2 for a gamma radiation of a wavelength is 4.0. 6, 2 times 10 to the power of negative 12 meters propagates in the air. Calculate the energy of photon. You have to find the E. Okay, this one is wavelength. Uh, in electrovolt. So the question asks you to answer in electrovolt. Given a speed of light in a vacuum which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and Planck's constant 6. 0.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule second. So uh, by applying the Planck's quantum theory, so the energy in electrovolt, we are using the equation E equal to Hc over lambda. Alright, so uh, we have already the Planck's constant which is given to us, which is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 okay, times the uh, speed of light which is 3 3 times 10 to the power of 8 and then you need to divide by 4.62 okay 4.62 is our wavelength times 10 to the power of negative 12 so you will get 4.31 times 10 to the power of negative 14 joule. So now uh, we want to answer in electrovolt means that you need to divide by 1.6 times 10 to the power of 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So you will get to 0.69 times 10 to the power of 5 
electrovolt. Okay, example 9.3, Gatman has a funk work function 4.22 EV electrovolt. So the given is in unit electrovolt. So what you need to find out is its threshold frequency. So uh, first of all, we have to change the work function from electrovolt to joule. So how to change it? The work function equal to 4.22 times uh, 1.60 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So you will get the work function 6.75 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule. So baru kita boleh tukar the work function equal to hf not. Okay, our our work function now is 6.75 times 10 to the power of negative 19, which is our uh, Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times our frequency that we want to find out. So our frequency is 1.02 times 10 to the power of 15 hertz. Uh, regarding to example 9.3, the Gatman has a work function of 4.22 electrovolt. You need to calculate the maximum speed. Okay, maximum speed means that you have to find the uh, Vmax. Okay, Vmax of the photoelectrons when the Gatman is shined by UV radiation of wavelength. The lambda is 275 nanometer. So by applying uh, the Einstein photoelectric equation, which is E equal to K max plus work function. So E itself is HC over lambda, which is equal to half and V square. V that referred to the V maximum plus our work function. So H we have which is 6.63 times 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times our speed of light which is 3 times 10 to the power of A divided by our lambda given here is 275 times 10 to the power of negative 9 and equal to half our mass is 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 okay, times V31 times 10 to the power of negative 31 V max square. So, we need to plus with the Work function 6.75 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So you rearrange the formula, you will get the V maximum 3.26 times 10 to the power of 5 meter per second. Alright, question C from the same example 9.3 cadmium has a work function of 4.22 electrovolt. You need to calculate the stopping potential, right? You need to calculate the stopping potential, which is given uh, the Planck's constant, the speed of light, mass of electron, and electron values. Okay, all this given, so you just need to uh, use the formula of K maximum, which is equal to half and v max square so actually we all know the k max also you can get from the e electron stein stopping potential okay so uh, we can make equation uh, we can make a comparison between evs which is equal to half and v square so we refer to the maximum. 
since you know the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 okay negative 19 times stopping potential that we want to find out which is equal to half mass of electron which is 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 right times 3.26 times 10 to the power of 5 square so you will get the vs which is topic potential which is 0 0.3034 Okay. Example 9.4 A beam of white light containing frequencies between 4 times 10 to the power of negative and 14 hertz and 7.9 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz, which is incident on sodium light, which has a work function of 2.28 electrovolts. So you need to calculate the threshold frequency of the sodium surface and the second question you need to determine the highest maximum kinetic energy of K max. So um, first you need to find the threshold frequency and the second you need to find the, the highest maximum kinetic energy of the electron. So, um, let us look for the first question. Okay, uh, since we know the, the work function is given in electron volt, so we have to change it to joule. So, the work function is equal to 2.28 times 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So, you will get 3.65 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule. So then, you can answer the threshold frequency work function equal to HF0. So work function values that we get just now is 3.65 times 10 to the power of negative 19 which is equal to our plus constant 6.6 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times f naught. So your f naught is 5.51 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz. Right, uh, now you have to find the highest k max. Okay. Um, so, since we know the frequency, the highest frequency that we have just now is 7.90 times 10 to the power of uh, 14 hertz. Okay, so just applying uh, Einstein photoelectric equation, which is E equal to K max plus work function and you know the E itself is equal to HF okay and then K max is half M V square plus work function right so H is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times 7.9 times 10 to the power of 14 which is equal to k max plus our function is 3.65 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So you'll get k max equal to 1.59 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So Example 9.5 In a photoelectric experiment, the graph of light frequency is plotted 
um, against the maximum kinetic energy K max of the photoelectron as shown. So the F is given to us and the threshold frequency also given and K max also put here. So regarding to the Einstein's photoelectric equation, we have to use H hat equal to K max plus work function. So we rearrange the formula, we make the frequency as our subject and which is equal to 1 over H times K max plus uh, work function over H here which is equal to F naught. Okay. Right. So, uh, since you know the F is your Y and 1 over H stand for your gradient and K max is your low Y axis and your threshold frequency F naught is your Y intercept. So, you get the from this Y intercept is your threshold frequency which is 84.8 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz. So the question asks you to find the threshold wavelength from the formula lambda naught equals to C over F naught. So the lambda naught is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by 4.83 times 10 to the power of 14, then you will get your lambda naught 6.21 times 10 to the power of negative 7 meters.